You know, at one point you was even speaking about um, that you was on drugs, have you? Yeah, I was on crack, heroin. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Coke. It started with Coke, though. I jumped up the poach in 89. 89, 90. So I've been in the streets a long time. You know what I'm saying? And back then, on powder it was cool. You could still get money back then and still be relevant even though you're getting loaded. You know what I'm saying? I knew people back then, they was balling and smoking rocks. You feel me? I just witnessed all this, you know? And that's doing the era before they knew that it made, that it created such monstrous... Nah, they knew. It just, it was so plentiful and there was so much going on. Man, you could be on crack and still get money, man. You know what I'm saying? You could still have about five, ten thousand dollars in your pocket if you're a hustler. You know what I'm saying? Because it's coming like that. You feel me? Around my way for sure. I know other, pla other places it was like that too. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Say, bro, um, what would you say was the hardest to, to deal with, to get off? Well, cigarettes. <laughs> cigarettes. <laughs> but uh, the crack, bro. The crack for me. You know what I'm saying? The dope. I, I, I mean, I got on it and stuff, and I used to mix, you know, and whatever, whatever, you know, but it was the crack. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like it haunted me. You know what I'm saying? It's like that, that demon haunted me. And um, it took it took a while, it took a long time, but you know I got it. You know what I'm saying? See, bro, cause all the, all the time I hear that the audition is way more. It's worse though because of like uh, far as physical pain, like when you're getting off it, you go you gotta go through your withdrawals and the physical pain of it. But you know what I'm saying? That crack for me, you know what I'm saying? Um, cause it it, it 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 always it always comes back up. You know what I'm saying? It's high, like 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 Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It's like that, you know what I'm saying? And you gotta be strong enough to fight yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the demon that you attach to yourself. Now you gotta fight it. You know, the only way you can fight it is with God and prayer and being real with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, Lil. Rest in peace, Soda Slim. Rest in peace, 12 o'clock. King Mike and his Bloodline shit. How long has it been since you've been off? I've been off. I've been off cracking hair on for 17, going on 18 years. Okay. Yeah. Do you still get there sometimes? Not not as much no more. It come, but it, it it's like it know I ain't gonna mess with it though. Okay. I, you know. I, 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 and I asked that to set this up. I asked that to set this up because because it's, it's powerful. First of all, to do it yourself, mm -hmm. you know, but then to help somebody else do it and yeah. got somebody else to do it. We yeah. talking about somebody that just came home recently that was yeah. a lot of people didn't know he was going, even going through. We talking about Ziggy yeah. Wiggle. Yeah, that's my brother, man. I love Ziggy, man. Uh, and I always, you know, I love our culture so. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm a respectable person, you know. I'm, I'm under the old law, I look at stuff different, you know what I'm saying, than how they look at it now, you know what I'm saying? Some people say, I don't got no big dogs and all that. Man, look, bro, you know what I'm saying? They had somebody before you, and that no more than you and all that, you know what I'm saying? So, he hosted my new album, Old Law Volume 2, okay. you know what I'm saying? So, um, when I seen him in that condition, I couldn't just let him go like that. You know what I'm saying? I, pay, I paid him what, I, what he wanted for the hosting, and I didn't just let him go, you know. I, I brought him and I, I, I talked to him. Talked to him for about an hour straight, you know what I'm saying? And let him know I've been there and this, that, and the third, and try to coerce him. And I just told him, I said, man, if you know a place or you want, you know, go to rehab, I'll sponsor you, bro. I'll bring you there, I'll sponsor you, I'll hang with you all the way through it if you need stuff, you know what I'm saying? We could, we could, we could do that. and. And when you come home, I'll come get you, and we're, we're gonna get you back where you belong, you know what I'm saying? As who you really are, you know, and you know, for the purpose that's in your life. Real talk, you know, I seen he was very dope. He was in, I, I didn't even put the camera on him, you know? I'm not gonna show the world you like this, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, and it took a few days for him to, for you know, to register. And uh, once it registered in his head, you know, he called me and said, man, I'm ready, bro, come get me. Wow. And I went just in a few days. Yeah, it took like five, <laughs> five, about, about five days. You know what I'm saying? The day before that, he called me like, "Man, you'll come bring me something to eat." So boom, I brought him something to eat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he gave him some money. I said, "I ain't got no money." I said, "The money at the place. <laughs> the money and the blessings at the place. You go to the place, I give you the money." Because if you gave him some money, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, we, we, yeah. If I would have given some money, we, I would have helped his, 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 you know, his demise. So he called you the next day and he stuck with it. Yeah. So what happened? You said you took it. Because I, I when I gave him the food and everything, he was looking bad and he gave him some money. And I said, I ain't got no money for you. And he said, man, I can't even feed myself, man. You know what? I said, man, I'm waiting on you. Whenever you're ready, I'm going to come get you. And, and I kept my word. 
And so um, we go there, and I'm like, man, you know, if God want, I say, you good. If God, God gonna get you in there. If he want you in there today, you gonna be in there. So when we get there, the people say, we ain't got no more room. So he was like, oh, man, you know, you feeling good. I'm like, man, we don't do all that, bro. I looked at him, I was, I was straight real, too. I said, we don't do all that, bro. We do faith. We don't do no fear. I said, if God wants you in there, you gonna get in there. We in here. And, and then right as soon as I told him that, the door opened. He said, hey, 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 tell him come over here. Now, nobody else, just him. And the room was open and he got in there. And this is what happened with God, when you let God take over your life and you know what I'm saying, you stay focused. Now my brother Ziggy and him, man, he, he, he back to his new life. You know what I'm saying? He didn't pass that test. Now we got many more tests and many more blessings to do. You know what I'm saying? God got him, God got him. Look how light and bright his skin is. God got him right. You know what it is, baby? Ziggler Wiggler. Back on the block, my dog, you understand me? Doing skits, hooks, intros, whatever you need, holler at me. So I don't believe in God, I man. I know God. All the shit I've been through, all the things I've done, and I, and I done prayed to God, asking for stuff in secret, and He reward me in the open. Judy Tuesday, bro. What is that? Cause I hear, I'm starting to hear about that more. Than man, it's, it's, it's the new way. It's what's popping. If you're an artist and you trying to climb, you have to connect with other artists mm -hmm. that. Or climbing, so you know, I hooked up with Jewel with through my little cousin, the soldier, and his son. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, and like it's a big family thing, a big family tie, and I love it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? I mean, Jewel is big brother, man. That's that's that's, that's when you, when you somebody in the city that know about it, hit you with Tuesday. Was they need to be there, they need to be the network, network, network. Network, you know what I'm saying? Uh, network. That's that's basically all I got. Connecting, you know? and connecting dots. Yeah, coming, getting out, having a good time. You ain't gotta pay nothing. Except for you might have to buy drinks. You know, you get in free. You get free seafood. What? And then you get Juve as a host and 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 Wild Wayne, Ball Head. You know. Less than a month ago, there was there was. And you, I could clearly see what you're saying too. That it's a. Uh, it's a networking network hub. Up. Because Birdman was there. It's a, network, just came to, it's a networking hub. I was like, man, that's beautiful. Yeah, man. yeah. yeah. We know. need that, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You know, and we and need that. And that was all that was all due to Jewel Tuesday. Correct. You can't tell me all these other cities getting it on and getting this big bag and all that. We the best. No disrespect and no to all the rest of the cities and stuff. But ain't nothing like New Orleans, bro. I got a song called Ain't Nothing Like New Orleans, bro. And that's just facts. You catch our accent and everybody right now. Around the world, you know what I'm saying? They got a piece of us in them, especially out of Katrina. <laughs>